In this clip, we're going to talk about the proper service procedure in order to diagnose, remove, and replace your vehicle's starter solenoid. In this step, we're going to talk about the proper way to hook up your starter solenoid back to the rest of the vehicle's electronics that we disassembled for service. Your new solenoid more than likely came with a small hardware kit. That's going to be all brand new nuts and washers. Some of them you may use, some of them you may not. I'm going to show you the exact procedure on this one. All right. First to go on is going to be the wire that runs to the power distribution center. I'm going to slide this guy down and onto the stud there. Second wire to go on is going to be this one here. I'm going to slide this one down and onto the stud, just like so. And then we have our heavy duty battery hookup. I'm going to slide that on right there. From here, we're going to take and slip on the lock washer and the new mounting nut. Then going to take and install the lock washer on the other stud. Then install the nut. From there we're going to take and slip on our command wire. Once you have that all set, you can go ahead and tighten your nuts down. The size may change from the original equipment to the replacement mounting nuts. This one changed from a 9 16 to a half inch. That's not a big deal. You do not want to over tighten these. You want to pay attention to the lock washer and tighten them down just until the lock washer collapses all the way and then go approximately a sixteenth of a turn more. Just like so. If you over tighten these, you will crack the Bakelite plastic case and destroy your new starter solenoid. That is the proper way to rehook up the wiring for your starter solenoid. 